Hey, good morning, everybody. Chris here. So it's been a crazy week. It's uh, Saturday, March 13th. Uh, we've had the, the stock market going all over the place, uh, and that's its own kind of stress, and we'll have another video on that. We've seen a lot of a lot of people, uh, consumers, pa uh, purchasers, going into panic mode, buying all kinds of things, emptying the shelves of bottled water, hand sanitizer, toilet paper, uh, you name it, right? So, and that's not necessarily an irrational response. Uh, fear will make us do all kinds of things we we probably wouldn't have done otherwise. But when we talk about prepping and prepping for uh, prepping for events that require you to go without purchasing things for a long period of time, one of the things that comes to mind, and I'm a prepper, and I'll have another session about that, I've been prepping for a long time, um, but one of the things I was always thankful for when I was a younger guy prepping was that I never had any physical, medical issues that required me to, to have to have medication. Now, since then, I have had physical, medical issues that require me to get on medication. So one of the, the medication that I'm on, I'm prescribed now, is... Zeralto, and I want to talk just a little bit about Zeralto and give a, essentially a, a Zeralto product review from where I'm sitting. So Zeralto is a, is a medicine prescribed to folks that need blood thinners, uh, and you can you can need a blood thinner for all different kinds of all different types of medical reasons conditions. Uh, for myself, I've suffered twice in my life from deep vein thrombosis, which is essentially blood clotting uh, that, in my case, started in my legs. I think that's common, and then the blood clot works its way up. And then the final situation that got me prescribed was I had what they call a double saddle blood clot in my lungs, and it prevented uh, it prevented blood from uh, I guess it prevented blood from getting to my brain, right? And so it caused me to to pass out. I was just headed into work, um, so kind of a long story associated with that. But anyway, as the result of that, uh, I was pres prescribed Zeralto, and Zeralto. Uh, it's, it's a great drug for me. Uh, you, I take it once a day. I know when I was given the option between Zeralto and Eliquis at the time, um, what made the difference for me was that Eliquis, they said you had to take twice a day, once in the morning, once at night, and Zeralto you took once a day. And so, you know, at my core, I'm pretty lazy. And so the once a day option felt like something that I could definitely remember to do and, and to work into my schedule much more conveniently. And that's proven to be true. I take mine in the morning. Uh, I will say that they say to take it with food. So you're supposed to take a pill with something that you eat. Uh, I used to eat breakfast pretty regularly, but recently I've stopped. Over the last year, I, I no longer eat a breakfast. I try to eat food just once a day. And I'll talk about that in a different video. So, but I still take my pill in the morning. And I read that there is a, it, the pill itself has about a 10 to 20% a possible reduction in effectiveness if it's not taken with food. Um, that's a risk that I've I read about, I understand, and I've decided I'm just going to live with it and see kind of how it works out. So I still take my pill once a day. Um, as preparations go, you know, there's not much that I can do to maintain an extra supply of Zeralto short of looking for some kind of, uh, some kind of out of channel way to buy Zeralto. I haven't found that. I haven't found an easy way to do that. Maybe if I would go to Mexico and try to buy this stuff over the counter, it's easier there. I haven't done that. Um, I will say, I did try to pre-order a month in advance once, and they said, no, you still have a supply, so we, we, you can't buy it until you're almost out. Um, what I do, what I have done, though, is taken two to three pills every time I get a bottle and push them off into a, what I call my backup container. And the backup, the backup bottle is what I take to work in the event that I forget to take uh, my pill in the morning. I'll take some with me. I have it in my bag that I'll have at the office, and so I can pop one if I, if I, if I get to take one. And I can say over the course of the year, there's about two or three times a year where I just forget to take it, right? And it's not that it's usually on a Saturday or a Sunday when I'm at home and I've just forgotten to take it, and I don't realize it till the next day. And, uh, and that's going to happen. I haven't found that there's been any super negative uh, consequences of that, just so you know. I, I was advised by my doctor to not go without for prolonged periods of time. For instance, he said, if you're going on a camping trip and you forget your bottle, I would go back for the bottle. So I'll take him at his word, and I haven't had any of those, but I have missed my dose for the day, right? So one of the things I will say about Zeralto is it's and I'm not an expert on drugs, but it, it's fairly expensive if you're not already paying for it. I think when I was first prescribed, the medical bill for it or the, the, the prescription charged was, uh, 
I want to say between two and three hundred dollars for the bottle and it's a 90-day supply and you take one a day so that's essentially three months is what you're getting in a bottle uh, Jantz and the company that run or that manufactures these does have a program that you can get on if you're covered by insurance and it uh, it reduces that cost down to I think I pay just over thirty dollars a bottle uh, for 90 days which is essentially ten dollars a month which is far more uh, you know affordable for me now so I pay about thirty dollars every three months to fill this up uh, I do have to get a refill through my doctor uh, my doctor used to require me to visit twice a year to check in on blood levels see how I'm doing um, and then they would you know they'd give me a couple of approvals for refills over the next uh, several refill cycles we've now moved that out to once a year so now my doctor is just checking in with me once a year I go in for blood draws now before I had this the first time I ever had a DVT blood clot uh, I was prescribed Coumadin, Warfarin, um, and, and those products are really cheap. The problem that I was having, and it wasn't a problem, it was just an inconvenience that I would have to go in regularly for blood work at the hospital, which was its own expense, and it's a time commitment, and I had to remember to go there. And so I was going in the mornings around 6 o'clock or so. They were doing the blood draws, and then they're constantly kind of monitoring the level of the medication that you're taking in and how it's reacting with your body. So moving from a model where I was doing regular blood check-ins um, and having to have my doctor potentially adjust the medication uh, based on what I was eating, what my body was doing, how the medication was responding to my body, to a, a pill where I go in once a year now, I take one pill a day, I have not had any of the symptoms, um, and I have not suffered from a DVT, and I've been on this for four or five years now. Uh, it's been great, so I can't really say enough good things about uh, Zeralto. If I didn't have to take it, I wouldn't, and I'm certainly not <laughs> advocating that you take it for no good reason, but as products go, and I'm not a doctor, nor am I a medical expert, or a pharmaceutical expert, or anything like that, but the impact of this drug on me has it's been affordable, it's been effective, it's kept me out of the emergency room, um, and my doctor's been able to manage it with one visit per year, which uh, falls right in line with my desire to be in the doctor's office as little as I possibly can. So, the other thing worth noting is that the, the, the pill or the Zeralto itself is subject to go into a phase where generics, manufacturers who produce generic uh, uh, medicine, uh, I think Zeralto is slated to fall into that category in 2021 or 2023. So you may see a much cheaper, much more accessible version of Zeralto that does the same thing uh, within the next couple of years. So I have no idea what the, 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 the medicine or pharmaceutical development pipeline looks like or if they already have it and it's ready to go and they're just waiting for this date to arrive. But so for me, that's kind of a, a light at the end of the tunnel because sure would be nicer to pay less. And it would be nice to have a, a preparation, a stockpile of these, right? So if there was supply, supply line or supply um, disruptions, and if I was at the end of my uh, bottle, I had 10 days left or one week left that I wouldn't, I wouldn't go without, right? That I could buy a supply that would last me through one or two months in the event that I wasn't able to get access to a pharmacy. So that's it, you know. Thank you for watching. If you have any comments or you have your own experiences with Zoralto or Eliquis or DVTs in general, I'd love to hear them down in the comments. Thanks and have a great day.